Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in as we try to get some direction to this game. It's, uh, it's not easy. Not always easy here. It's the growth one. Go this way. Ooh, this is this is interesting though. I'm yeah, I was gonna say I'm sure we aren't the first envoy. Mathematics. Hmm. Am I gonna set all these cities down here? No, this land sucks, right? Like you'd have to keep that stone and like really that's your production tile. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty bad city. Um so no, I'm not settling that. Uh, we may we could come down and settle something in here. Potentially. And I do want to settle this at some point. But I don't know when. Two builds left. Oh, God. <laughs> Misclick. Doing that more and more lately. Doki. Yeah, we're probably taking Leventa along the way. We could probably get started with that actually and have a better uh a better road in, as it were. That's probably a better idea. No room to settle any of this. That 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 makes sense, I think. What's up, K Dream? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I know. Kree has no walls. It's true. I think next turn we start chopping out. I need those horses. Yeah, next turn we start chopping out horses. Cool. Be better idea to build archers instead of builders? No. Because you want builders to chop out the units, right? You need builders first, and you build those at a 30% clip. And then you use their chops to chop out units at a 50% clip. So you make your chops way better. Good question. I, I swear you guys, like the AI is back to just not even caring about water when they settle cities. And it's really, really irritating because it felt like there was a, there was a stretch there where they like figured it out. <laughs> and I don't think those days are anymore. Am I choptimizing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Money. If it's people who cannot find time. Okay, so we want this. No hour of life is we. And then we want this. 
Probably both. Continue to build um, hoplites on the front and maybe some swords. I have to say that's some simple logic and it still somehow eluded me till now. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to help. What do we want um, here? Probably unit maintenance at this point. Otherwise, our uh, yeah, the cost of this is going to get a little too high. I think we're hard teching Petra because like what other well I have two districts I don't think I have time for a third one do I I'm hard teching that. Commercial hub in the cap. I think I want the cap to make horses so that we can take advantage of this general. Yeah, the, the new maps are really fun. I concur. Should have gone here. Oops. Whoopsies. It's the end of that chapter. Okay. Need to chop these out before I do it. Or before it erupts. Look at Leventa in there. Improvement. I really like Leventa's tile improvement too. So I almost, like, don't want to kill him. But we're going to anyways. Took off the builder policy, didn't I? Yeah. So this isn't super efficient, but that's okay. We got the turn 50 save. Thanks, Amaze. I haven't missed too much, Eminem. Prepping for war here. Hoping we can build a big enough military to, to wipe them out convincingly. Plantation Pantheon, yes indeed. Yes indeed. One of my favorites. Yeah, I could use even more builders, right? Like this guy actually probably isn't doing anything here. Eh, maybe getting this. That might be worth the tile buy, just to push out their borders even more. No, we missed a religion. Even with the dedication. But we're getting some faith now from it, so... Buying the barracks worth it. 360, we could do it in three turns. 
I don't know. Leventa is a tough call. I prefer Leventa's improvements over the, uh, what is this one called again? Monastery? Although we could maybe use the, the, the housing, frankly, as, as Greeks too, right? All right, I think I'm back on builders here. And let's go get a policy switch at Mysticism. You have another charge? Oh, I really want to buy this tile. We probably don't need the barracks. I think I'm skipping the barracks. I'm hoping that we're well-timed enough in this to just make it happen. Which means I'm probably buying that one too. AI doesn't have a place to build. I mean, that's only one sieve, right? China probably has a spot to build it. China will probably get it. Sweet. We have a friend. All right. We do have an envoy to send out too. Do we want to... Well, suzerain Geneva doesn't make sense, right? We're about to go to war. Kumasi makes the most sense, probably. Science here would be okay. Faith is okay. Yeah, we'll probably just hold it for a second. And I will probably have to buy this tile. So we skipped the barracks to buy tiles. Seems okay. That's why we have this. Gonna go ahead and lie to you there, buddy. Are you ready to go? I think one more turn. Let's go get this. Then we the web of the mystic measure. Okay. The depths of the sky and the ends of Merchant the found Gustaban. Come, swift spirits of er, sorry. Gobustan. Sometimes I'm a little dyslexic. Leventa is not suzerain, no. And yes, that'll be super awkward if Cree decides to suzerain them. <laughs> uh, the great volcano Thera. I love it. Can't see your first dedication. Would you or chat know why? Unsub from all the mods you had. Can't see your first dedication? What do you mean? 
Like your like your era dedication? Would I still make this play if I couldn't get a general? The general doesn't work with the hoplites. Like we're just using the general for swords and horses. Um, I I probably would have we we still would have been able to get the general with the um with the encampment. I mean, obviously having this helps a lot. If there are reps, does it create land? No. Although I think that would be cool if it did. Yep, wrong era. Hoplites are classic and or uh, ancient era, and ancient era units can't use generals. Take Fez since we didn't rest religion. I want to be. If we're gonna win a Diplo victory, we need the city states here. I like to say I practice. We'll wait till we get some more horses, and then this. And probably this as well. All right, so we've got Magoo here for our extra chops. We left the right one in, right? Yep. He finishes encampment. But I think we're ready to go. We should have a, a pretty steady flow of troops uh, supporting this, I think. And I'd be—I'd love to just snag a city before it gets walls. Okay. He has a military, so this should be a pretty fun war. So we'll have the cap build builders to bring them up here and chop out our military. Merchant might be flying home. I can double attack you, but it really hurts my hoplites. Swords counter hoplites. Let's try to go up this way. Because this guy's coming down here. Wow. Okay. Diplo War. I mean, deity. That's all I'm saying. Puntmaker got the great library. <laughs> yeah? Is that how you're going to do it? Okay. Okay, so we want to create some... Uh, hoplites only get their 10 combat strength if they're next to another hoplite. His t unit type counters my unit type. Um, really, hoplites are only good against uh, horses, and I kind of rarely see the AI building horses. Um, so what we want to do is just make sure that we're surviving with them and creating just little little uh, like tandems, basically, um, while we bring in our swords and units that are going to be a little bit better at fighting these guys. Not a ton, but a little bit.
And we're out of iron because we still don't have our third governor promotion to give us the discount, which is kind of bad. But frankly, our gold's good enough that I can I can crank out a couple warriors here and upgrade them. Is the Great Library worthless in Civ 6? No, it's super good, actually. So let's go over what the, what the Great Library does and what kind of games you want them in. Although it's pretty hard to beat the AI to it, at least on Deity. Um, so the Great Library is actually terrific. And it's, it's, it's terrific specifically in games where you're not directly going for a science victory. Um, you get to rece receive a boost to all ancient and classic era te technologies. Okay, well, that part of it's pretty useless, right? Because you're going to be mostly researched, at least boosted on all of those. They're all pretty easy to get. So that part of it is pretty lackluster, I will grant you. But receive a random tech boost after another player recruits a great scientist. So again, in games where you aren't the science leader and other people are getting scientists, you can kind of get random boosts throughout the, throughout the game, and it generates quite a bit of science as you get those. Um, and then it has two great works of writing slots, which are pretty darn nice, again, in like cultural games um, or just in games where you're, you're getting some writers and things like that, like like this game, for example. Um, and it gives you a scientist and a writer point, which is somewhat negligible. But but that, uh, those boosts as the game goes on are actually fairly useful. Um, so, yeah, you want it in like culture games specifically and other games where you're not directly science. But in those in those instances, it's great. As a science wonder... Not so much. Okay. I think we got most of our road, so that's good. Yeah, those first ones are kind of eh, but it's, the, it, yeah, throughout the game, quite nice. Quite nice. We never did get our free envoy, which feels a little bad. I think I need this road. Levy Laventa is actually a pretty cute idea. They're probably pretty expensive, though. Yeah, it's 500 to levy them. Hey, Hoag. Yeah, Disaster 4 for Diplo emergencies, I hope. Opportunities to send aid. Yeah, we went, we went up on city-states. 12 sounds right. I might bring you around towards the war. Might be able to get a pillage. Oh my god, he actually built an aqueduct. Lord of me! Who knew? Who knew you knew how to build an aqueduct? I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you that I'm going to keep that city when I take it. More encampments from him. Ooh. That I did not realize. This is bad. Is the plan to take Cree cities and then sim to victory? Uh, you've got to be a little bit more active d than that, but yeah, I, I hope to be able to take him out and then also sim, right? What am I doing here? My best chance to survive. I think I may have lost that city. 
Although I can flip them here. Please don't take this tile. You're going to take these tiles. Cool. Why did I want less money from China? Didn't I just get 140 some gold and then... Like, I needed the raw gold to buy the archer, and then I just got as much gold per turn as I could. Okay, so what's going on up here? It's my favorite wonder, natural or built? Favorite built wonder is Machu Picchu, but you never get it. <laughs> Hi, Sparrow. How have you been? Good to see you. Um, my favorite natural wonder... It might be this. Like, this is... If you can get this in your capital, it's so good. Otherwise, I like the yield ones. I'm going to sneak in some walls. Rorami. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, Taurus is always fun. Any wonder is pretty good. Okay, so we're cruising right along. Like, there's nothing here worth settling. It's all flat. Like, you get maybe two workable tiles. <laughs> and we need 11 era score for another golden age which we're probably going to want sweet those who in quarrels Up, Bring you back. Okay. Green needs a better unit. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. How would you improve them? Played them the other day. They felt weak. They are weak. Um, yeah, revamping their unique unit would be fine. The fact that they have aqueduct synergies, I think, is terrible. Uh, there are people that would argue it with me that like industrial zones, but uh, I don't know. I I don't. The the faithful sieves that don't have a way of getting a profit are are really awkward. Really, really, really awkward for me. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Oh, yeah. There's the crossbow. Yeah, that's scary. We need to, uh, we need to be getting more military here. Yeah. 
8 of 9, and then what am I doing? I'm only getting 2 per turn here. Horses are hard to come by. I really need that third governor promotion. I don't get it for 6 more turns. Hold this envoy. No, we don't have a really good jebel. Like this, the 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 land is too disparate, which is part of my complaint about uh, continents maps. But like, what do you want? You know. I can kill kill, but then we probably die to the cross or the catapult, and he's got a crossbow coming. So I want to keep my units healthy. I would take that. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who are like, you ran at the sight of one crossbow. Uh, yeah. Do you see why? <laughs> losing, losing units in Deity Wars is a surefire way to lose the game. Because you're just throwing away your production. I don't know that I can even take this. No, just in general, Jay. Yeah, I know. He's got 70 science per turn. I, I realize. I, I told you this war started to feel really bad. Good news is I don't think he has a whole lot more than that one crossbow. But it really wrecks us. I could pillage that science. I do not want to lose these horses, though. I'm going to pull back just a sec. Okay. Yeah, that's dangerous. But now when we kill the city, we get to kill it. So hopefully we can just take it down. Cool. So yeah, so like now, now these are pretty workable tiles. Like whether I want to farm them or mine them or whatever. Like this gets pretty good without Petra. I realize it's that much better with Petra. But like all of this is kind of useless without Petra. Which is why we're prioritizing things the way that we are.
Probably going to lose one more unit here. God, almost. Cool. So that we give that crossbow one more kill, but then we kill it, which is good. All right, healing within our border and in our capital where po where possible. Oh, I gotta I gotta get that back online. Okay. Wow. Didn't lose a unit. Feels good. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. It's a test time marathon, just a deity marathon playing through all of the sieves on in chronological order. Attacking the horse upgrade post post war here, yeah. I mean, my next goal is to get down here to crossbows and coursers, yeah, for sure. So now we get rid of that crossbow, which is kind of a huge deal. That should be fine, and then we... Oh, I should take the promotion. Whoops. Or killed that. It's okay. All right, so keep city. How bad's our loyalty? 8.7. Science dropped by 6. Three turns, we get our discount, and then we can start cranking out units. So I think I should just wait the three turns. Yeah, I think I have to bring Magnus up. Otherwise, we pretty assuredly lose this. Got a pop 10 city and a pop 8 city nearby. Which means I don't get the discount. <sighs> Feels bad, man. But we are getting four or six iron per turn, actually. So we can get two. We can get two swords here. We're still running the policy for it. Get a governor in three turns? Yeah. I really wanted the discount. We could just take a new governor and plunk it up there, which is probably fine. Makes our chops better. Five of eight housing. Let's 
just do that. Are we going to build a government plaza? Yeah, eventually. I don't know where, though. So in three turns... Patient grievances, 8.6. Okay. Well, the government for the loyalty? Um, I, that's, never a, that's never a thing you want to do. Like, if you're losing loyalty that hard in that city, you're not going to have time to finish it unless you have, like, perfect chops and perfect builders there for it, like, right away. Actually, I'm going to take a teleport back home with this guy. Okay, we might lose this. No, he went after the city. So that's fine. All right. Ooh, we get the Art of War, Classic Medieval, another one. So that's pretty good. We need 10 more Era Score. We can get this. Yeah, I know I can place the Petra. I don't have the money yet. And then I, I also very much feel like I need walls in case he decides to suzerain them again. General doesn't do anything. Do I want the Art of War? I feel like the second General doesn't do anything. <sighs> of course, Evan M. Happy you're here, buddy. Thank you for it. And then two turns we'll switch and we'll make two horses. You make two horses and then your friend will make two horses. Is that how it works? I'm going to go with Thrust. Possible Garrison needed. Yeah, Great Generals don't stack anymore. What up? Remember the plan? How you doing, bud? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I know Oracle would be good, a good get for us as well. So even Sith Scythia has been in, like, all of our games. They were indeed in my game as Scythia as well, yes. One ten and the iron needed for that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I really need to circumnavigate, I think. Circumnavigate pyramids, I hope. 
next the next uh merchant I can get all those things I think will be fine for a golden age, but that's a lot of land to cover to circumnavigate. Especially when we're butted up against the uh, eastern edge of it. Yeah, this is a good idea. Sure, I'll pay 10. Yeah, I don't know that we're getting around there. Maybe this guy will have a shot of going all the way through. Probably not. Probably not. Got about four turns left till it flips, but I get a governor next turn. Could have waited on that chop, actually. I'm not running the uh, maneuver policy at the moment. My man. <laughs> Star Bazaar, thank you for the follow. Get extra faith if we buy this, yeah? Or extra era score. And then this allows me to go get my Petra tile. Oh, pfft. I did that wrong. I can't I can't do it cuz I got the merchant. Okay. I like that. That's real nice. And that's a first meet? What? Hmm. Just one unit there. Yeah. Good for you. I think this heals me, right? This is unique tile improvement. Okay. Nope, no UI mods. Just the basic vanilla HUD. So now we have 20 some turns or 20 ish turns until until uh, we lose it and we should be able to take the cap here I think before then. It's my hope anyways. All right, there's our siege. Oh, 
probably want to un unlock the Acropolis. We're about to get pyramids, I hope. I guess we wait one turn. All right, that. And then switching into... What are we building next? One city at a time. I don't have a big enough army to go for two at a time. I guess the other general could have been helpful here, just like shuffling units to the front. How long are we streaming today? I'm not sure. I've I've been cranking my air conditioning all day in anticipation of like it's it always gets too hot in here. So hopefully uh hopefully a while yet. Oh speaking of speaking of asking that question, we do need to put a cut in this video. Uh where yeah, we're gonna start on Petra. I'm a little worried about China and their 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 love of wonders. However, doesn't seem to have a lot of desert, so we might get lucky there. Hopefully, and then we finish wiping out the Kree, take over our continent, maybe settle another city or two, and then diplo our way to victory. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamingcanon and come say hi to us in person on the internet. See you guys next time.